So as I've said, I want to go for religious victory. And I know that I'm accumulating a whole bunch of faith and not doing anything with it. Uh, I, that's because I kind of have to. They're, they're, I've already converted over to Myris, and I'm not really close to any of the other civs in this world, so I've got to wait. I'm going to hold on to my faith, and at the last second just start pumping out all these religious units, and then we'll spread the crack to the rest of the world. I just wanted to address, I know I have a bunch of faith that I'm not using. And uh, yeah, that's good, because uh, I, I don't need to be using it right now. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, 500 faith, that means I can get up a lot of great people, which means, I'm sorry, uh, religious people, which means I need to get a holy site everywhere, probably in St. Louis, and definitely in my new cities. We've got to find holy sites in the new cities for sure. Wow. Kyoto, your production sucks. Dude, your production really, really sucks. What's going on with that? You've got tons of forests around. Well, we need to we need to build lumber mills. That's the thing. So that's that's what we'll do. Uh, you did finish my my campus, which is good. Thank you. But we need more than that, so let's go ahead and build- Dang! 12 turns for a builder! That's a problem. Um, alright, so... Fine, how are you doing housing, housing capacity-wise? You're growing really fast, so that's good. We might as well build an aqueduct. And we will build it... Jeez, here, I guess. Yeah, let's build it here. We'll build in St. Louis, because you have built things really, really quickly, and I love it. So, you're going to build a builder there in two turns. Look at that. Look at that difference. Two turns, like 12 turns. Wow. What's going on inside? You only have eight citizens. It's just because so much production. Yeah. This, these are great production cities, which is good. Um, and see, I'm not even about this. I'm about to increase your production a little bit more. Actually, I'm just going to make you grow a little bit faster. This is a great tile, too. So, I think it's because they have forests and hills that's that's the great wombo combo right there um let's move this over yeah work that i don't need the gold i mean i like gold but i don't i don't use it as much as probably i should i like to hold on to it and then wait now if i purchase and oh, wait a second no what if i purchase a settler i still don't lose oh can i not that is because something is inside here. I didn't even use this great general. I, I, I totally forgot about that. Uh, that probably could have helped a little bit, <laughs> to say the least. That could have helped. I have no idea what Tamiris is going, but she passed through. And uh, let's make sure that these guys stay connected, because I will continue to forget if I don't. So there you go. Look at that. Look at the little triangle thing. Cool. All right. So this guy's going back home. I have automated him to go back home. We are escorting these guys over just to kind of explore some things. I, I know that there's going to be barbarians around. So I'll probably find another barbarian soon. This catapult can chill. You'll chill inside St. Louis. Even though, actually, that's not. there's no point for that. Either go to Washington or, yeah, just go, go back to Washington. Let's increase your production. There we go. So I think we've built like three lumber mills, which is what we needed for this Eureka moment. Cool. And... 19 turns for the aqueduct? Did I know about that? I think I knew about that. So, yeah, there's a lot more trading with uh, great works now. As you can see, Rome's trying to give me a great work. Um, joint, war, joint wars against Tamiris. I almost I almost missed that. This, this needs to be a bigger... This needs to be, like, number one or something, those wars. I'm not going to war with Tamiris because you're not going to do... You're not going to do shit, Rome! What are you doing? You ain't going to do nothing. You're all the way over here in the middle of the continent, and you want me to go to war with, oh, my neighbor. Yeah. Okay, Rome. But Rome has not liked Tamiris for a while, so I guess it makes a little bit of sense. Okay, I'm going to go down this way. Spain, deal with your barbarian problem, please. Please deal with the barbarians. So I, Okay, good. So I'm still the suzerain with Geneva, uh, and still with Afghanistan. So I need to become closer with one of these two city-states. Uh, this one, this is in Kazakhstan, right? Or La Venta. I guess it depends on what you're giving. You're both faith, so that's kind of perfect. Um, do I have an envoy with one of them already? I, yeah, I do. Jeez, I, I don't really know. Well, they each usually give something different. Faith in the capital. Um, no, they, they both should be giving faith in the capital. It's just their suzerain bonus. Usually. Crabs and silver versus silk and iron. Ooh, silk and iron. It's nice you'd be offering some crabs. I, li I like 
getting my crabs from my city states. But uh, I think I want. I think I want these guys. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start to work on, on them, to get some iron. Although iron won't be that useful, it's fine. It's fine. I just need to be friendly with one of them. Okay. I, you know, I, I need to settle probably the black or the the Dead Sea. I was gonna call it the Black Sea. It now is this. Is this three housing or is this one? This looks like one. Um, it looks like one, but let's go down this way. I need to go that down this way anyways. And then you guys are probably, maybe just come here. Now, Tamaris has already built us an infrastructure, so that's great. Infrastructure. Let's go this way. Who needs a promotion? You need a promotion. Not yet, though. Yeah, we can't do it yet. Here's Jerusalem, who's also a faith. Wow, lots of faith city-states. So we're going to want to be on all their good side. I might not even improve at all with Geneva or Afghanistan anymore. Because I don't really see the point. I want the extra faith, man. I want the extra faith. What is this? Mount Kilimanjaro, right? Yes. Which gives them extra 2 plus food in all adjacent tiles. Like, that's awesome. That's great. Like, what are you doing, Dead Sea? You're not really doing anything for me. Oh, you're giving me faith? Okay, wait a second. I forgot about that. Two tile, it provides two plus faith and culture and fresh water um, units. Oh, so, but you're not giving it to adjacent units, so that's definitely not as good. Yeah, that is, that is definitely not as good. You're, that's just the yield you'll be giving, I guess. Well, I need to come here anyways, so... And we could always build the Petra, Drew. Keep the Petra in mind. I think I need to settle here. I mean, I'll get access to the sheep, the cattle, things that I really don't care about as much. Let's move there. I mean, the diamonds would be nice. Oh, and Kyoto got access to diamonds. Okay, so you built us a builder. That builder needs to go to Japan with the Japanese... Um... The, the new Japanese city. I don't think I should waste... I don't think actually St. Louis needs at all a, a holy site. We're gonna... We actually need the holy site to be more closer to the east. I don't think we need three. Especially because districts are hard to come by. You can't just build all these districts. An industrial zone I think would be great for this city. Like a campus is good too. I do admit a campus would be a good idea. And it's actually suggesting that I that I build a campus. How am I doing? It looks like we're doing fine, science-wise. Do I have any adjacency bonuses? Yes, a huge adjacency bonus here. Um, that's, yeah, that's three. Okay, that's really great. Holy site bonuses, I have three also, but I'd rather not take out that tile. Last thing I want to check. I mean, I, I probably will eventually build this no matter what. The industrial zone is definitely going in here. But fine, let's build the campus. That is some awesome yields. Because of why also? So it's not going to stay like that because I'm getting an adjacent bo adjacency bonus because of this uh, this rainforest. But it will stay with two because of the, the mountain range. Yeah, let's build it there. And my scout is just going to get rid of the last final few fog of wars. I love that the the city states are going after barbarians. I feel like a lot more than they did in Civ 5. That's really helpful. And we're going to travel through this desert. Now, I do have access to the Petra. I might just want to try to rush it. I don't know how we're going to do it in a city that's not that good. <laughs> so that's the only thing. Now, if I were to settle here, wait a second, what did I just do? I might have accidentally put someone else on auto. Let's keep all this the same. And we need to fix Kyoto. Let's actually first go after the diamonds. Even more amenities, and especially for the Japanese city. So that's that's the important thing. So you're going to sleep. You need to heal, my sir. My good sir. And I almost have a fully upgraded rogue unit. Now, there's no point. In, that's right. I, I consider deleting these scouts. Do not delete scouts in your own game. Don't do it, Drew. 
I swear I'm going to forget that, and I'm like, I'm such an idiot. Because the scouts do have an upgrade path now. And they eventually upgrade to something pretty cool. Pretty powerful, pretty fast moving. Lots of sight. Those, uh, I think they're like called rogue units or something like that. Pretty strong, though. And they can explore and move far and things like that. Blast. Build. Listen. Okay, so I know that I realize I can totally settle a coastal city. But I, I don't want to. Because I cannot guarantee that this coastal city will give me access to uh, other parts of the continent. This looks like it's going to be landlocked, I bet. Who is this? Somebody just for... I think that's Greece, maybe. The AI is really settling here. And that's one concern that I have with Civ 6. The first concern I had was that some civs weren't expanding. And there were, like, you know, pretty large chunks of land that, you know, weren't settled. That, that really concerns me. It's not a big deal, but... I don't like that at all. So, it looks like this game is not going to be that. Looks like the civs are really settling a lot, but we'll see. But keep that in mind. Um, again, it's not a it's not a hard fix. You know, just AI tweak. But it's something that I really don't like by the end game. If I see a bunch of open space, I guess I get it if it's tundra. That's different. But yeah, grasslands stuff like that makes it tough. Also, universities. I do need to consider that universities have a big big part in that. So I could build an armory. I don't think I... Hey, wait a second. So, we got beat out, didn't we? Yeah, we did get beat out. So, do we... Does that mean that the production carries over, or do we get gold from it? I actually don't know. I'm not sure what we... What happened, but... Oh, well. Do I want to trace after this one next? 20 turns? That's kind of a ridiculous amount of turns for this. No, we need education. We went. To, we rushed education for a reason. Let's do it. For the first time ever, strictly because of aesthetic reasons, I like to build wonders, and uh, and I try to try to build as many wonders as possible because it makes cities look so good. But I keep forgetting, you know, wonders. Still, I don't know. Still not so sure about those wonders. Mass production. Ooh. Okay. I like the idea of mass production. All right. So bam, we get to be a monarchy now, which means we get a bunch of new military slots. I also can now use more diplomatic policies, which I have like no diplomatic policies right now. Like, like I have, there's only two to choose from. I'm guessing plus two, the first envoy to, you said no city state counts as two, plus two points. Yeah, definitely this one. That will keep all those, I, I need to go after religious city states. I need to forget about all the other city states I liked, all the other suzerain bonuses I was getting. I can't, I can't focus on that anymore. Production towards medieval and renaissance wonders. Oh, but I like the housing that we're getting right now because it's it's kind of important. Although I'm trying to play wide, so slowing down growth isn't the worst thing in the world. Let's keep that for now, but I'm probably going to change that. Yeah, probably going to change that. Production towards medieval and renaissance heavy and light cavalry units. I think that's what we want to go with. So let's let's do that. And then this wild card slot will we'll stay with that. Great scientists sound good. Sound good to me. Okay, let's, let's confirm it, but more than likely, we're, we're definitely going to have to change those policies around pretty much as soon as this is up. So in five turns, I need to look into some of the other things that I, I'm getting. Yeah, Spain seems to be settling. And I'm sure Rome does not like that at all. Let's go up on this hill, try to get a little bit more of a better idea. See, for these guys, I'm thinking of just going like there. This will be a very well defended city. Will not be easy to take. I don't think. Unless the AI also gets that bonus. They might. Oh, it's impassable. Yeah, so this is pretty much a mountain range. How far would we be? We'd be we'd get access to the Oh, we actually are we would not be able to get access to the diamonds. I guess it doesn't even matter at this point, does it? This oasis is here though. You know, we're going to go one more down. There is silver and diamonds. That is just seems like it's too far away though. I'm going to I'm going to park these units here. We're going to get a settler out. You're going to stay there. We're going to get a settler out inside of Washington or Kyoto or whatever, someplace. And and we're going to go after the city next. Border growth is not like, it's kind of, you know, pretty much the same as Civ 5. You're not going to grow your borders like a whole bunch. So if I were to just go after that silver, 
it, it would not, there'd be a huge opening. And we need to keep in mind Tomyra has a settler and she just hasn't settled it yet. So we gotta watch for that. Okay, so you're gonna come like right here. Maybe just chill right there. And you do the same thing. Okay, we're gonna come here. So I think we're gonna get our housing. Uh, breathtaking, good. We got It's breathtaking, that's nice, I guess. Now I'm actually thinking one more. You know what? Because what am I what am I settling for? Yeah, close to uh, Kyoto for. So I think we're, that's okay. We'll finally sell it now. I promise. I promise. We'll sell it now. Okay, we've made it to turn 100. Trading post post created, which means we have our infrastructure laid down. Beautiful. Now we need to go to the newly founded city. Whatever we find right now. What do we see here? Nothing. Spain might be going for that spot. They totally might be. Well, either way, I need to settle here. Stop, Drew. Stop. <laughs> Go to New Orleans and just stop. Okay. So, as I said, we're probably going to need a holy site if we can. You will not be able to build a settler for a while. Build a granary. We need to get some builders over here. And for you, I need to transfer you over to Kyoto. And actually, this is going to be good for two reasons. One, it, it puts down infrastructure, um, but it also will allow us... Why is this green? Uh, it puts down the infrastructure as well as that trader is going to provide like extra food or production. So that's good. Yeah, we, uh, we might need to block this Spanish settler from whatever he's trying here. Whatever you're trying to do, get out of here. I don't like it. Again, Scythia, we still don't know where that settler is. Somewhere around here. You know, she probably, she might have been going for the Dead Sea. I mean, obviously the AI is going to tend to want to go after those natural wonders a little bit more. Than, you know, just things in general. You're not growing. Wow, that's that's not good. Well, luckily I have a bunch of money, and that's why I did this. Wow, this is terrible. This is so bad. It's just a freaking desert. Well, yeah, duh, Drew. Duh. You knew what you were getting into. 75 golds, but it is for... Oh, here we go. Bam. Floodplain. Same amount of money. Nice. Oh, and the Oasis is going to be great, too. I don't know if I want to spend all that. Let's keep it... Let's keep it on the floodplain for now. And then we have all that desert tile to put, you know, districts and things like that. Ooh, there was a settler over there. Okay, so I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come this way. And uh, yeah, we want to go to New Orleans. So only one food, one production. That kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Hey, transferring to a city would be easy. I could. I didn't have to even press that button. I don't think. Okay, so we got to figure out what we're gonna do about the settler situation. Um, if I can purchase it inside of. Oh, you know what? If I can just purchase it inside of New Orleans. That'd be best case scenario. I don't have enough. 320. Okay, I can get it next. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to purchase it inside of New Orleans and then rush for this next spot. And uh, we're going to be sucking amenity-wise for probably a while. But it's okay. They just grow the crap out of these cities. There's Tamiris. That's not as bad as it could have been. She loves the tundra, and the AI is m messing up so badly by settling in the, in the tundra. Which is really good for us. I think we're going to start to expand a lot quicker. I'm even thinking of maybe a sixth city because we've got to get the ball moving. We can possibly go after a religious victory right now. Obviously, it's going to be tough to grow these new cities, especially um, New Orleans because it's in the middle of a freaking desert. But uh, either way, you know, we can try our best, you know, invest some of our money into making these cities, purchasing tiles and things like that. But we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.